Welcome to Parus Trail in Zion National Park. This is going to be our first hike in Zion, which there will be many to come. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh. Welcome to Roaming with the Ramses. I'm Gordon. And I'm Alice. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And give us a like. And don't forget to ring the little bell so you are notified every time we put out new content. Welcome to Parus Trail in Zion National Park. This is going to be our first hike in Zion, which there will be many to come. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, what? First of all, we should talk about how important it is to get here early because the parking ah, yes. was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I mean, today is a Thursday, and granted, we got here a little late, 11 o'clock, 10.30. Um, we drove around the parking lot at the visitor center for half an hour. Yep. No parking spots. No parking. So we ended up at the overflow parking by the South Campground. Yep. Which is fine, but you know, tip number one, Show up early if you want to get a parking spot. So just keep in mind that the visitor's parking lot is also the shuttle parking lot. So everybody that you see there at the parking lot is because they're probably on a shuttle and are not going to return for hours to, on hours on hours. Right. So if you're going to be here, be here early or and, find someplace else. And on top of that, if you're going to take a shuttle, that also means you probably want to be here early because it would be really miserable if you got here and the parking lot was full right. and you had to try and figure something out to be able to make your shuttle ride. Because there are different times that you can take the shuttle. So if you took that 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock shuttle, you might not get a parking spot. Right. So keep that in mind when you're making your reservations. Always go early. <laughs> Every day brings new light to help us on our way. Always taking my breath, whether sun or rain. The wind will carry us over that horizon we see. Something you need to keep in mind on this trail, mixed use. Yes. So you're sharing the trail with people walking their dogs. And people, cat. And cat, we did see somebody walking a cat <laughs> on a leash. Um, but also with bikes and bike riders. Yes. So just keep in mind when you come to this trail that you'll be sharing the trail with bikers and dog walkers.
Zion National Park definitely does not disappoint. Right, that is for sure. I mean, so far in the last six months, we have been to Glacier National Park, Arches Arches. National Park, Canyonlands National Park, um, Bryce National Park. Yep. And... Many other areas. Yeah, so national park wise, Zion definitely does not disappoint. I think Zion is right up there with Glacier. Yeah, I can agree with that. And the reason I say that is the views driving. Because oh. I told Alice before the first time we went to Bryce yes. that, you know, Bryce is beautiful. And but it's mostly in overlooks or hiking. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're if you're driving and you're restricted to driving, Bryce really you only get to see the beauty of the park at the overlooks and pullouts. Right. Whereas here at Zion, much like Glacier on going to the Sun Road, you have beauty while you're driving. Yeah, coming in the east entrance reminded me of going to the Sun Road of right. Glacier because it was I mean it it's was just, just a beautiful it's scenic. Oh very, my gosh. Very very scenic, you know. So it's definitely top three and much like arches arches was the same way in that when you drive into arches you have a lot of beauty as you're driving the road you don't have to wait for the next pull out yeah i mean it's almost like a an overload of oh my gosh i have to do this 50 more times in order to be able to take it all in right there's just so much to see and guys if you're driving like me <laughs> <laughs> You'll hear, oh, you got to look at that. And I'm like, I'm on a 20 mile an hour road. I can't be looking at that. There's corners everywhere. Oh, well then stop at the next pullout so you can look at that. <laughs> so, but yes, definitely a great place to come if you're driving and great for hikes also, which we will be bringing you all the hikes that Zion has to offer that we feel capable of doing. Right. We, we yeah. really want to do Angel's Landing and hopefully with it being winter time, we won't be restricted from being able to do Angel's Landing because of ice or something on the trail. Yeah, we'll have to get that one done soon. Because we had that issue with the High Line Trail at Glacier National Park, having to wait for the trail to open because of ice and snow. We're chasing our adventures. Make time to chase your adventures, and we hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, subscribe, hit the like, and ring that little ring bell. Ring that little bell.